A lot of red pill ideas look to evolutionary psychology for answers. And there's a tremendous amount of value to be found in looking to evolutionary psychology for answers about how men and women work, how men and women mate, and all the rest. However, remember that this can only go so far. Like, men and women are different, but we're not different species. Evolutionary psychology is helpful, but at the same time, we need to remember that, yes, we're mammals, we're animals, but we're also at the top of the food chain for a reason. We have an extremely developed cerebral cortex. We have things like the internet and space travel and all these things that the animal kingdom doesn't have. So I think it's crucial to remember that yes, we are red-blooded mammals and we can look to the natural world for a lot of insights about how males and females mate. But remember that that line of thinking can only go so far. So you can't look to evolutionary psychology or evolutionary biology for all of the answers about male and female human mating strategies.